the, the minimum standard of consent is um, that consent has to be affirmative. What I mean by this is that anything other than a yes is a no. And yes is something that's clearly communicated potentially through words, but also through body language, right? So we can think, what does it look like when someone is super into an experience and like they, they want what's happening to be happening? There's going to be moving towards the person, a mutual, a reciprocity of what's happening, different noises. So, so we know what consent looks like, but yeah. what does non-consent look like? Because something that survivors or victims of sexual violence sometimes hear, why didn't you fight back or are you sure you said no maybe you should have said no more clearly the reality is that there are these super direct ways of saying no and sometimes that's what non-consent sounds like but there's also all these indirect ways right if i'm over yeah. at pal and dating place and i'm like hey do you want to hook up i really want to have sex right now and that person is want to order a pizza mm. is that a yes or a no but that's a no, right? Because it's not a yes. And the reality is that we are all of the time, also in non-sexual situations, we very rarely actually use the words no. Think about the last time someone asked you to go for coffee and you were like, God, I really don't want to. You probably were like, oh, I've been really busy. You know, this quarantine life just takes up all my time. And, and also people sometimes say no in indirect ways to preserve people's feelings. You don't want to make someone feel bad. Also, again, if they're maybe feeling unsafe, if I say no directly, is this going to escalate? I have a headache is the classic. Mm. It's almost meant as humor when you see it in older media. Oh, honey, I can't. I have a headache. I, I would say it's a really gendered example about women's labor, right? And emotional labor of having to preserve their male partner's feelings, asserting their right to, to not have sex in a particular moment. Mm. But moving into kind of physical ways that we show non-consent, something that's important to name is that the experience of someone violating your sexual boundaries is often experienced as a trauma and in the moment it's often your stress response that goes into into effect so flight fight or freeze which we often don't talk about that third one so when sam kind of gave that example of how just lying there like this isn't consent absolutely it's not but that's um actually something that happens for a lot of people is this this freeze response and what's sometimes called tonic immobility being totally frozen, unable to move. And that can often be super confusing. After the fact, survivors might be like, I don't understand why I couldn't move and can have a lot of shame and a lot of um, self-blame around that. But if we flip it back onto the person, anyone who cared about what the other person wanted in a sexual situation, see that freezing up and take that as a sign to stop, check in, make sure that person was okay, not to keep going. But yeah, whether it's freezing, crying, fighting back, um, trying to leave the room, curling up, anything shy of active consent is not consent. So that's, that's that standard of affirmative consent. So basically it's only yes means yes. Mm. And yeah, I don't know what kind of thoughts or questions come up. When you were saying, I guess right at the start, Roxanne, when you said mm -hmm. no such thing as implied consent, mm -hmm. I I took that and was like, that just means there's no non-verbal consent. So I'm actually glad we spoke about that. So basically we've said that mm -hmm. there is non-verbal consent. And if you think about it in relation to a non-sexual situation, it makes a lot more sense that way. The implied consent piece, so refers more to things like what a person is, is wearing. So like Sam said before, someone can be totally naked and this, that's not an invitation. That's not a checkbox for consent. Flirting, accepting drinks from someone, 